Today we're going to be talking about Isaac Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So uh, you might want to start by telling the kids, this one kind of they found very interesting, that their body, their weight, is exerting a force onto the floor. You can ask them how many realized that the floor was also exerting an equal and opposite, so an upward force, on their body. Their, their weight is a force pushing down on the floor, but there is also a force of the floor pushing up onto them. Otherwise, they would be sinking down into the floor. All right, so the first one we're going to do here is called spring thing. And you can use any springs. I chose to use the cat toys because they're just plastic and you know, more safe than someone getting pinched in a metal spring. But depending on what kind of springs you have, really any spring could do. What we're going to have them think about today isn't just the springy can you know, make springy and bendy. We're going to have them also think about the equal and opposite force. All right, so if you're pulling it out, the spring is trying to pull back in and you can feel that. If you're compressing it, the spring is trying to stretch back out. Same with bending it, things like that. But also have them think about the fact that their fingers are exerting a force onto this spring. But the spring is also exerting a force onto their fingers. Otherwise, they would go right through it. Okay, so equal and opposite force there. And then we're going to use a little dowel and a rubber band. And really anything, you could use a pencil, you could use whatever you have. You don't specifically have to buy uh, a dowel. And I'm just going to put my rubber band between the two pieces and start twisting it, okay? Now, when the kids are doing this, you might want to have them have their hands down on the table or it might, keep, um, it, it might undo on them. So this helps it between twists to keep it down. You can ask the kids, what do you feel that that rubber band is trying to do? Do you feel like it's trying to unwind back to its normal state? Um, also, there is a force of this dowel or whatever you're using in here to twist with onto the rubber band, but there's also a force from the rubber band onto the dowel. And same thing with your fingers, okay? So they can twist it a little bit, and then they can lift up a little and just watch it, watch it unwind and want to go back to its normal state. I would caution, don't have them lift it up and let it go, or these are gonna go flying. Probably not the safest thing to do. So that was spring thing. Now we're going to move over here to balloon jousting. So Matthew is going to help me. And this again is going to teach a little bit about Newton's third law, which was the equal and opposite forces. For every force there's an equal and opposite force. Really for any action there's an equal and opposite reaction. This one we're going to use straws. I chose to use the large straws. Really depending on the size of your cording, any size straw would do as long as it fits well through your cording. Um, the cording that I used was just number 18 mason line. Okay, so we are going to cut our cording. I put little handles on for the helpers because you're going to need helpers. And this made it easier for them to hold. And then you're going to thread, there's a handle at each end, you're going to thread two straws onto this cording, okay? Then you're going to get some tape. We used painter's tape. You do not want sticky, sticky tape for this because then no one will ever win their jousting tournament. So we're going to put some tape straight on. We don't fold it around. It just goes straight on. And if you want, you can put a piece across as well. Um, that's totally up to you. It's, it depends on how it's going for you. And then all you're going to do then is blow up your balloon. The kids are going to get in the lines, one at each end of where you have this set up. And someone is going to be holding the string and someone can come and help them put on their balloon. And you don't want it to be on too, too, too tight because remember, then no one would win. 
Remember, though, that this end is the end that the air comes out of. So, for the equal and opposite force, the air is blowing out that way. The opposite force means it's going to fly that way. So, you want your balloons with the openings to the outside. And you're going to need some volunteers for this one. So, our volunteers here are going to joust. And I'm going to step out of the way. <laughs> okay, sometimes the balloons are going to fall off, sometimes they are not. Then again, in jousting, sometimes the rider falls off his horse and sometimes he doesn't. So the kids can just get in line and keep going for as long as you have time. I Did won. you win? I won. She won. <laughs> <laughs> and that was day four of Keepers of the Kingdom Science.